Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and still with me in the studio are Abby Howard and Tracy McCreary from the Rescue and Restore Coalition. We've been talking about the human trafficking issue that exists in our country and even right here in St. Louis, mm -hmm. and um, all the different warning signs and the people that are getting involved in this and how it's a growing problem. And you guys were formed about seven years ago to mm -hmm. help deal with this in our community. So how can our viewers uh, in our community get involved with helping you with, um, with your efforts? Yeah. There are a lot of ways to, to get involved. I think the first thing I would recommend is attending one of our trainings. We do what we call Human Trafficking 101. Um, we do more advanced trainings as well, but that's a great place to start. And we have a couple coming up um, that'll be located at Safe Connections. Um, they're gonna be in November. They usually last about an hour, and then we have about a 30 minutes for question and answers. Um, and in that training, you'll learn not only like what is human trafficking, but what does it look like? What are the indicators? And then most importantly, what can you do to help? Um, if you do think you've come in contact with someone and how can you refer and get them the services they may need as well as what can we do to prevent this crime from happening in our communities more. We also have a lot of different um, outreach events and things like that um, that we've had in the past and we also have a new member orientation coming up for anyone who's interested in getting involved with the coalition and the coalition is really a great place as well to to um, lock in and get involved in this movement. We're made up of healthcare providers, social service providers, law enforcement, faith-based groups as well mm -hmm. as um, concerned citizens. And it's a great place to learn more and, and volunteer your time. Good, so there's lots of ways. And Tracy, the Human Trafficking 101, what kinds of uh, people would do you think would benefit from the training? Well, you know, I think that we, what we're trying to do is cast a very wide net because the only way we're going to be able to combat human trafficking our, in our community is as if all of us as citizens are aware of what to look for and what the warning signs are. And I'm one of those people that really believes in like trusting your gut and some of these cases that I've read about that have uh, been revealed in other communities, it's some, it's a, just a normal citizen who knew what the warning signs were and he or she just had a funny feeling that something wasn't quite right. Mm -hmm. And they knew what to do. They knew to call law enforcement and they knew what to do to help so um, the more the that we as a community are educated, so anybody can benefit from going mm -hmm. to this training as citizens, as business owners, as healthcare right. providers, and learn Definitely. something that we can identify. So what are some of these warning signs um, that you speak of? Yeah. I think it kind of depends on the population, um, but say you're, you know, at a nail salon or something like that and you're you're talking with a person who's doing your nails and they mention that you know they don't get a day off work or they're not paid overtime um, or there just seems to be kind of like Tracy was saying that gut feeling that the environment at this you know nail salon is just maybe somewhat oppressive all of those things can be red flags that they don't maybe have the freedom to to leave their work or they're not paid adequately and things like that that could all be indicators of labor trafficking possibly something else as well um, so those are some things possibly to look at and then again as she mentioned with runaway and homeless youth any of our youth that are possibly on the street that don't have access to resources be it housing food shelter um, those that's just a red flag in and of itself Itself, that they are at a higher risk and vulnerability mm -hmm. for possibly being trafficked. Yeah, so I know that details about this will be covered in your training, but mm -hmm. what is a citizen to do? Um, if, if we don't, if we can't go to the training, yeah. what do we do if there's a red flag and we mm -hmm. feel like we need to report? Who do we call? Right. Well, you can always call 911, especially mm -hmm. if you or that person are in danger. Mm -hmm. um, but there are also two hotlines that I would recommend just putting in your phone and having there in case uh, there's a local hotline that's run through the International Institute um, specifically for working against human trafficking. And that number is 314-369-2305. And you can also call the National Human Trafficking Resource Center, which is run through Polaris Project, which is a great resource as well. And that's 1-888-3737-888. All right, you've got all these numbers in your do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got all that. All right, Tracy, um, so just to recap, um, the, the trainings and, and information that our, that our community can benefit from, again, we have the... The 101, or what did you call it? The basic training? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> human trafficking 101, okay. an entry level class on okay, human trafficking. Yeah. So. Okay, so that's one opportunity, and it's right here on the screen coming mm -hmm. up November 14th and then repeated again on November 27th. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the information's on the screen. The phone number to call for more information, 277-1772. So the each is about an hour and a half long, mm -hmm. is that right? So that's not a big time commitment. Sounds right. very doable. Yeah. 
Okay, and then the other um, opportunity, it's an orientation for business owners, is that right? Yeah, just anyone who's interested in becoming a member or who's recently joined the coalition and just wants to learn more, it'll be an orientation to the coalition and ways to get involved, and we'll cover a little bit of the Human Trafficking 101 in that as okay, well. Okay, so do you have to first join the coalition? You don't have to. If you're just interested and want to learn more okay. um, and don't want to sit through a whole training and would just like to meet others in the community that are doing similar work, it's a great opportunity to, okay. to come and do that as well, kind of a networking event. Right. Very and there's good. no cost for yeah, they're all free. Things. They're all great. free. So mm -hmm. it's just sharing information and getting people to help right. out with the cause. Mm -hmm. So it sounds great. Abby and Tracy, thank you so yeah, much, both you. of you, for thank coming you. and helping us to better understand this issue that's right here in our community, unfortunately, but so happy that people are working to solve the problem. So thank you, um, thank you both for coming by, and Abby and Tracy are going to head out in a minute, but when we come back, we'll have Suzanne Woodard of The Refined Room, very cool store we'll talk about. Remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us streaming live on stltv.net. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>